What is up guys? In this video, we're going to learn how to round your edges um, of your objects. As you can see right here, I have four identical uh, cubes that I was able to shift into different shapes and round the edges differently to create these different shapes and sizes. Um, as you can see right here, I just started with a basic cube, just three of them next to each other. And I used this certain tool, which was able to create these three different uh, looks to them. So let's dive right in. Let's go to our blank one or the one that's just a cube. And here's our magic tool right up here, the fillet tool. So as you can see, that's pretty much it. It's, it's that easy. If we click on this or even before we click on it, if we select a, uh, a face, then we click on it. This little arrow comes up and we could drag it in and it creates these different uh, shapes or styles. Now, I'm going to show you how to do all three of them and you want to stick with me to the end because in this window, I'm going to show some common errors I have because it's, it's not as easy when you get into more complex shapes. Again, you'll see what I mean. So that created that. We could select multiple planes though. Here, let's select these three planes. If we hit it, it creates, you know, that more rounded, kind of like that. Uh, what we could do is select one, two, switch over, three, four. If we select all of those, it'll make it rounded all the way around, even in the back. See, all of it's rounded. Or another thing we could do, you're probably wondering, we know how to do that. We know how to do this. What about this? This is a little different. You can even select the edges. So I'm just selecting these edges. One two three and then if we flip it that makes four and then if we go to our fillet tool see that it edges out uh those corners or rounds out the edges whatever you want to call it that's how we do all of that so the tool is pretty basic in that aspect as you can see it's very quick and easy to do it but now you're probably wondering, okay, what kind of problems might I run into? So that's pretty straightforward. But let's jump over to, say you have a more complex design. Something that looks a little bit like this, okay? Now, again, if you just want to, you know, maybe select that, hit your fillet tool, and just curve that in, whatever it might be, look at this. It's not letting you or these error messages are coming up. See, I'm trying. Oh, there we go. We were able to do it when I got up to around 25 millimeters or 17 or 15. 12 is okay. 10 isn't. That isn't working for some reason. We want it 2 millimeters. Okay, that works. We want it 4 millimeters. That also works. We want it 6. That doesn't work. Why is that? Well, that's because it all depends on your dimensions, right? And, and here's what I mean. So let's just kind of get rid of this error message. Click out of that. We're going to select these in here. And I'll start by explaining in this. So we'll do one, two, and three. We hit the fillet tool. Okay. It's going to move over so you can really get a good look at it. Okay. And watch, go in 1.5 millimeters, that works. Try to go in two millimeters, it doesn't work. And the reason being is this is only four millimeters uh, tall. So it can only fill or round, fill it round, whatever you want to call, two millimeters on the top and two millimeters on the bottom. So that's why once we get to that two mark, it's impossible. But if we do 1.99, that works. We could do that. So if we wanted to round that like that, we could do 1.99, but we can't do two millimeters. So you have to know what your dimensions are so you can have whatever kind of rounded object. And that goes the same. So if we X out of that and we'll cancel that, we'll select this, do fill it. I actually have a uh, F as a hotkey for fill it because I'm always using it. So if we do that, do two millimeters, that works, okay? If we do six millimeters, 
that doesn't work. The reason why is because I think I have this six millimeters away from this surface. So if we do five, okay, maybe it's four millimeters away. Yep, so there's four. That works. We do 4.1. It doesn't work. So you got to know the dimensions. I mean, the computer can only do so much. It's trying to guess what you want. And you may come up with that error code unless it could actually work. So don't feel discouraged if you're trying to make a more complex object and you want to curve whatever uh, with the fillet tool. And for some reason it doesn't work or you're getting that error message. That's probably why. At your dimensions, it won't work for everything. And you got to know exactly the limits, especially when I had it over here, that little corner, this over here, it didn't like to work uh, just because that's kind of like a tight corner. It's very small and close together. So the computer may have trouble. The program may have trouble figuring out what you're doing and, and there's limitations to the fillet tool. But besides that, besides those little limitations... I mean, this is an amazing tool. I use it all the time. It's very helpful. It really, I think it makes uh, designs look more professional just for uh, an aesthetic look. But that's the fillet tool. Very simple to use. I mean, the more basic the object, the more you can do with it. More complex uh, objects, you might have some trouble with it. But just imagine if, uh, just a matter of getting those right dimensions to work. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below. I'll respond to it. Make sure you're subscribed. Like this video. Helps my YouTube algorithm a lot. If you want to see any other videos, let me know. Uh, either email me or shoot a comment below of what you want to see, and I'll create that for you. All right. Thanks.